You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Project Paradox. Hope you enjoy. And welcome back to another action-packed episode. I am your GM, your narrator, and just the guy here along for the ride. My name's Tony Stevens, and I'll go ahead and introduce my cast and crew. But first, I want to remind you, please click like, share, and subscribe. If you don't, we'll know. No, I'm just kidding. Just do it anyway, because we're here to entertain you. Uh, Now, I'm going to go ahead and let my cast and crew introduce themselves, starting at my right. Go ahead and tell me who you are, who your character is, and what's the last thing you remember doing as a character. My name is Jessica. I'm playing Birgitta. What's the last thing I remember doing as a character? (laughs) She may have been drinking. I... She carries a bar in her backpack, so it is true. We went to my brother's house? We went to his brother's house, Mm -hmm. and it was... I just appeared there. It was in an apartment building. Yeah. And you buried and then unburied beat your backpack. Up the neighbors. You did, not we. That was a you. Oh yeah, because we had to look stealthy. That was a you we thing. Didn't really, really. Yeah, you do that. covered the. Uh, yeah, we didn't really do that. People. We didn't really oh, I covered the people. Okay. I think that we are leaving the apartment building now. If I remember. You did. You went and got we your backpack. There. Apartment. Oh, oh yeah. Went and got your backpack. You convinced me to go hang out with these people that try to kidnap me in a helicopter. Is this right? Am I remembering? Uh, no, I convinced you to go <laughs> hang out with these people that I called to carry us away from a building we were getting shot at in. Y'all are going way back. Okay. But these are the same people, right? Yes. Yeah, That's why people. I didn't yeah. want to do it. Well, let's. Who are you? And then we'll try and, because uh, uh, I know that you have a... Who are you? I'm Stan. I'm playing... Let's go with Zix. <laughs> Whatever he's chosen to um, use today. But if you guys could totally not react whenever my brother calls me Zarash, that would be great. Um, it's like a nickname, right? Yeah. Except it was my real... Uh, yeah, it's like a nickname. Um... And I am trying to convince my brother, who works for the head mage hunter, heretic hunter, to help us save the world. I heard that. Mage hunter or heretic hunter? Specifically heretic hunter. He kind of likes regular mages to follow the rules. we know he was a heretic hunter? Uh, We literally went to the top of the tower where... Azazel the Black lives. <laughs> I don't think I knew he And then we met me. my brother who made a power suit for him that he then used to follow us and pull him. you out of a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, he got me out of the helicopter. Well, no, I jumped. See, he me. got you out of the helicopter. I jumped out of the helicopter and he caught me in his talons. And then there was another <laughs> person that was in the game. I'm just trying to remember, okay? Hi, I'm Ronnie. I'm uh, playing Maziel Bones de Grain. Last I remember, he jumped out of a helicopter, said, F this, and he's in a, landed in a very stanky place. Dude, at least we were block. not captured Third by block. a dragon. You are definitely in the, uh, the not upper class area. As I believe I told you, we should meet where you go to the stinkiest place in the city. And then go three blocks away. When it gets stinkier. I don't think my guy can handle the stink. <laughs> That's okay, because we sent a helicopter. Alright, and we've got a special appearance tonight from a, one of our veterans. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Bregel. I'm, uh, I'm a follower of Samael. He, uh, last week, uh, before he asked me to... Gadget Meister Training Game, True Sight. And then he wanted us to 
gain true sight for others to, and collect eyeballs for them. I got, I got some new ones, and they're pretty because they're blue. Do you like my blue balls? We can't say that. This is a PG-13. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? They just... Sorry. The Sorry, irises Laura. are blue. The irises we can't blue. say that. Laura's going to have to edit that out now. All right. Focus. Um, John. I can't stand blue balls. <laughs> <laughs> but I like you to figure it out. Thank you, Master. But I didn't ask you to do any of that, by the way. What? Introduce what? yourself real quick. Uh, my and then we'll get into y'all's Sam antics. Sam Danson. Um, I'm a private investigator made of lightning. Friends with Ted Malone. Ted Malone. I was going to get to Ted Malone. He's my long lost partner. We don't know what happened to him. That's why he's lost. And it was a long time ago. So, like, uh, I'm currently standing behind a window looking into a building of an apartment. And I'm looking at people I know. And one person I kind of know. And uh, is it me? Yeah, oh, I know yeah. you. Yeah. It's you and... Uh, <laughs> this guy with this the ever changing name. Zixer for kids. Zixer. <laughs> and his brother, which yep. I've all met before. I just flew up here. I was I I got really high actually because we're on a building top, you know. To this be clear, he he, he took mana met raw mana brother. and ate it. Oh, that's not what I was talking about. I'm just really high because we're like we're high up on a building. Oh, top. altitude. Altitude, yeah. Uh, we're also, also not in the apartment I did take because mana. we did go to a parking garage. Oh, we did. We, no, no, we're in the apartment. No, no. Of a high rise. So what y'all did was y'all went to the high? parking. Y'all maybe. Uh, y'all went to the parking garage. You got the, uh, the all-terrain vehicle that you got to the city in. Yeah. Drove it out, but then <laughs> decided that it would not be good to still be in this van. Oh, yes. I forgot all that. Then you got out and got into a family van with the yeah. stickers of the family people and everything. Yeah, and so you are now trying to escape the city. Yeah, yeah, that was actually my idea. I so. no memory of that. <laughs> what was yeah, I doing? Your character was drinking most I have likely. to be the one driving, though, right? I'm the only one with legs long enough to reach the pedal. I drove to get you. I could drive oh, with my brother that? as the pedal foot pusher. Okay. Oh, that's right. The parking garage. Okay. The pedal pusher. All right. Well, I'm in the car, I guess, driving. All right. So before we get too carried away on that, I'm going to go ahead and go to third row. Third row is one of the stankiest places in all of the Otah megalopolis. It is right next to the main sewage outport for the entire city. And there are some shanties and shacks that are built up where they stick the most unruly and ugly uh, people and let them grow up. To be fair, we were not ugly. We were just short and misshapen. Now, when you left off, you were there um, as well as Rafe. He was next to you. Both of you had gotten away from the helicopter uh, you had gotten away from the Black Dragon for a moment, and you saw the Lightning Man uh, attack the dragon and then try to catch the little short fella. All sorts of crazy antics happened, and then you see the dragon swoop up and fly away for a moment, um, leaving you with a choice of how, how would you like to proceed? He had given you instructions to find the stinkiest place and then go a few blocks over and wait for him. Well, they said to wait for him, so I guess I'm just going to wait. If you wanted to, that's, you could. All right, so as you and Wraith are waiting for him to show up, this Zix that you barely know, uh, you do hear the flapping of wings again. Mm -mm. The large metallic wings. It's almost cutting through the air with a fine whistle. I love that too. No, we don't like that. You don't like whistling, Master? Okay, yeah, I do. <laughs> no, I meant I meant the sound of the, the, the flapping. That's what we don't like. Yeah. 
Because oh. remember, he's We're the not betrayer. Even here. This is Ronnie. You guys. They're tripping Ooh. in the van. It's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, this is not. Here it is. This, is, this not, is not us. This is Ronnie. No, as as L as as. It shadow is, ben but to... he's far away from us. We don't. Oh, yeah. but I can sense Name my brother. Name myself basically invisible. Okay, so go ahead and get. It, it, that's a spell, but from another mother. It's a, and it's on yourself. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. Okay. All right, so as you and Wraith are standing there, um, basically you hear that noise and you just like, peace out. Peace out, Rainbow Trout. And you just blend into the shadows. But that's when you see the dragon again, the large metallic black dragon, as it crashes through the area and several of the building tops are just completely crushed over, debris flying everywhere. So go ahead and just give me a roll on just evading any kind of damage that could be happening. I have all my dice this time. That is good. You need them. Roll to avoid the splash. That that doesn't avoid anything. Here's a favor. Um, Just hand it to Dan and pass it around. You'd be adding your decks to it. Oh, I know. But that would have been nothing. That would have hurt. All right, get one more chance, though. And it's even lower. It's jail time for that die. <laughs> Back in jail you go. So what'd you get? Twelve. Total? Yeah. All right. So as the dragon is clearing through the area, basically, he doesn't see you. But there's so much excessive damage that he's causing to this area. There's just debris flying everywhere. And you and Wraith try to move as quickly as possible, except you are covered by some of the debris. As it basically just lands on you. Um, now, it's only going to carry a four damage, but you can absorb with your armor. Oh, I did pick up medium armor. Uh, medium is three, right? Actually got medium armor. Now, as you're laying there underneath the debris, um, basically passage of time seems longer than what you really realize or know. It's not like you can pull your hand up and look at a watch or I don't know if you have a HUD inside your Mm -hmm. skull face or whatnot. Um, But you do not hear Wraith. You don't know where he is. Until eventually you hear some some grumbling and some shifting of the debris. Somebody seems to be trying to clear it away to get you out. And light breaks through. Like, not sunlight, but like artificial flashlight. Somebody's shining a light through. Mm-hmm. Hey, boy, down there! Hello? No? Okay, moving on. Keep looking. Goodbye. What? Uh, hello? Look, I don't mean to be cryptic here or anything, but I've got a friend of a friend who told me to come look here for a guy waiting in the stinky part of town. He said you could trust him. Because you could always see over his head and know that he's hiding nothing behind his back. Fine. Yes, I'm down here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, he's down here. Um, hold on a second. Milo, Milo, can you help me out here? Oh, yeah. Hang on. Move out the way. As you see this large, kind of overweight brute has just lifted a whole bunch of debris off of you. And he looks down, he hands you, like he reaches his hand out towards you. Up, up, little guy! Alright, so I reach my hand out. All right, he just lifts you out of the debris. and You would recognize uh, a lot of these, the uh, female, uh, this heavyweight guy, and the bird-like creature that has large black wings. You recognize them from the helicopter that you were in before you jumped out of it. 
Ah. The female talks to you and she says, Your bride's here. Okay. Now I see who you are. Okay, good. And we see that you're the same guy that was in the helicopter. We're trusting Zix. That's as far as I'm going to throw it. But we've got the helicopter over here. He says, it's time to go home. And apparently you're coming with us. All right. There was another fella. You seen him? Wraith? No. When the... When the metal dragon crashed into all the buildings, we kind of got separated. Metal dragons. Yep. Life just gets weirder. Okay. Yeah, follow me. Now, about... 30 yards away, you see the black helicopter. Same one that you were in with them before. Set it, and it's set in some of the clearing, the debris is around it, but the clear spot that they could find, they set the helicopter down. Three of them start trucking towards the helicopter. But you do hear something in the distance. Sounds like a repetition noise of feet hitting the ground, just... In secession. I start breathing, making sure that it's not me. <laughs> yep. You do have a little bit of smoke or lung, but that's it. <laughs> I had a Cluzo moment. Um, <clears throat> now I hear that going on. I am going to check perception I actually have it now and of course you are still hidden if you choose to be uh, they have to you have to announce yourself for people to see you at this moment okay I'm gonna try this die uh, so this is 14 you know that there's foot noises somewhere close enough that you can hear it so you continue to move towards the helicopter, I'm assuming, into the mm -hmm. chopper. As, to the chopper. As you're trying to move to the chopper, that's when the noise blasts out. <laughs> and you see the winged fella in front of you hit the ground. Some feathers <laughs> kind of pop into the air as he hits the ground. Oh, that's not good. And then you hear... Over here! Over here! I found them! I found them! Azazel will be so happy! You see a troop of about 20 soldiers moving towards the area. Let's see what kind of craziness can I do. <laughs> um, all right, so I use chaos enchantment. My mm -hmm. sniper rifle. And I want to shoot in the general direction where the shouting was coming from. Fair enough. So give me the roll for dexterity for shooting. And there's and shrubbery and stuff around there, right? There's some shrubbery <laughs> and some debris. Uh, but yeah, give me the roll for the shot and then give me the roll on your chaos. Okay, shot first. Gotcha. That's better, 22. Okay. And... Five. Have I even rolled five before? I don't know. Fire! All right, so as I'm assuming you're trying to take some sort of cover behind debris, uh, you get your sniper rifle out, cock load, ready to rock and roll, and you take a shot at the first soldier that you can see. And as the bullet rip tears out of your sniper rifle, it sets a flame in midair and leaves a trail of fire the whole way to that soldier. As soon as it pings into his helmet, he has a Ghost Rider moment. You see a skull set ablaze. 
hits the ground. Everybody, look out! And they're all now aware of your existence, but still cannot quite tell where that's from. You can tell that there's about 19 more of them, and the female and the large fellow are dragging their winged friend out of the opening so that they can get him behind some cover. Now, I'll let you roll for either evade or absorb, but uh, you do see one of the soldiers evade. He takes this attachment that's on the bottom of his rifle, he cocks it back, pulls a button, and then thunk! Just passed around. Alright, one more chance. 28. Nice. So, You're at ridiculous. that roll, I will let you know that you see the grenade canister coming in your general direction, and I will let you choose what happens to the grenade canister. I am going to shoot it. You want to just shoot it out of the air? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You do. So, as soon as you see it coming over, you just take the shot, <laughs> and you see this green smoke start to kind of dance across the air about... 25 feet up and it's starting to kind of like you know sift down through the air but nothing that would be of a danger to you at this moment did you see that it just blew up in midair no i heard a shot who i don't see anybody there's just that bird guy i shot the bird guy i shot the bird guy no you <laughs> didn't tom that was totally me you cut your way out of this mark all right it's your turn they seem to be arguing while they're arguing i'm going to shoot one of them all right chaos or just a shot just a shot all right 16 24 nice so yeah look tom this is the last time i'm gonna <laughs> So um, I will let you roll again if you want to try to make a movement, uh, but there seem to be aiming up because this is a repetition of damage coming from a general location. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're going to make some shots if you want to try and evade that. Yeah, I'm going to... Okay. Hmm. Um, 15. Total? Yeah. All right, so as, I can't remember which one's still alive, is still standing there with blood all over his face. Tom. Uh, yeah, Tom. Mark. Mark yeah, Tom's, Mark. He's, he was a Mark's friend, but, uh, so he's got all this blood all over his face. The sergeant says, just stop your whining and get down. And he pushes him out of the way and takes out this gun and just starts, <laughs> like, right in your direction. Um, several shots start to ping across your armor, even though he can't see you. It does cause like a reaction where he can see where it's pinging off of, and he kind of, kind of just starts to zero in on that more and more. Uh, that's going to be four damage coming your way. Okay. Just regular shots, regular ammo. All right, boys, you see that? Where it's ricocheting? There's our ghost. Get it! Oh, it's gone. <laughs> they can see me now. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> I wave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> hey, girl, hey. Yeah, I start running. Towards the chopper? Yes. Or towards them? Towards the chopper. The okay. <laughs> Get to the chopper. All right, so roll your decks. <clears throat> so 16 again, so it's going to be 24. 24? <laughs> All right, so they're making shots and trying to run towards your general direction, but you seem to be tucking and rolling and jumping off of different little pieces of rubble and rock and whatnot. Um, 
you are about halfway to the chopper mm -hmm. and you can see the crew that Zix sent for you. Uh, they're probably about 15 feet away from the chopper, hiding behind some rubble, waving you down. The heavyweight guy, Milo. Oi! Oi! And then bullets start flying towards him and he goes, oh, oh, oh! And ducks behind a rock. Quickly evaluate the situation. I can get the helicopter to go out myself, but I don't know how to fly, so I need a pilot. So I'm going to go where they are. They've got the pilot. And I'm going to let you know which one's the pilot. The one that can fly. Just thought I'd throw that out there to you, just if you wanted to check on it or not. You also saw him being the one that was flying. When we were yeah. Yeah. So, him fly, so, well, I can't fly. Let the There's avian be the aviator. There's a st <laughs> strength in numbers. Bullet shields? So, I'm going to go over where the bullet shields are. Alright, so, um, as you're continuing to run, you made your movement to make a movement, basically. And they're going to continue. So you hear that sergeant, that gruff sergeant. Yelling out, don't you let him get away! Not after what he did to Mark! Alright. Poor Mark. He was gonna be successful. 15. And I forgot to no, use no, no, acrobatics. No. Oh. <laughs> it's been you a have while. Acrobatics? Yeah. I do. So. This is a 24 for real this time. For reals. Alright, so. Um, you will make an invasion. Uh, they are opening gunfire, but hitting the debris around you, if you want to describe, you're basically doing your flips and whatnot over over debris. and Parkour, parkour, parkour. Oh, do you parkour. say that while you're doing it? Yes. That would be awesome. <laughs> Hardcore walking. Extreme running. All right, so they're continuing to shoot, but obviously missing you at this point, and you are... Now only about five feet away from the individuals that you were running for, so they are within your reach. And like I said before, they're about 15 feet away from the chopper. Is that us or somebody else? That's not us. That's somebody else, yes. Okay. I am, I'm going to continue going where they are because that's where the cover is. All right. So Smart. basically Milo says, hurry up, get down here. As you talk and roll, he's sitting there petting the head of the Corda um, Zapper. He's just kind of like stroking his head. It's going to be okay, Zapper. If you want to do any kind of checks on Zapper, if you have any kind of ability, I don't know if you have med kits or healing abilities or anything. <laughs> I could take his mind off that pain by making more pain somewhere else. If you want to use any kind of surveillance ability or... It's up to you what you do here. You can shoot the zapper if you want to. Zapping. Zapping. You can zap the zapper. Do you have a taser? That would be cold layers. No, I'm not going to... There's nothing I can do for him right now. Oh, poor dude. But, yeah, you're right, I can do that. But he doesn't want to. Um, do I use that right now? No, because that could cost uh, really be bad. Really be bad if I do that right now. Do it. But I will do the chaos enchant. And I'm going to fire another shot, because they know where... They were coming right at you, yeah. Yeah, they know where we are. So He's coming right at us. I'm just going to shoot at them in their general direction. Mm. I'm going to hand you this right here. It's passed around. I believe that's all I can get from you tonight. For now. For now? Yeah, I don't think so. That's a 19. I rolled it all together. 19? Okay. And I'm rolling the chaos. Wow, I'm rolling 
rolling numbers I haven't rolled before. Cool. That's my favorite part about chaos. Oh, yeah. Last time I was just giving people cancer from radiation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's this one? Frost. Someone's about to get cold really quick. Give him the cold shoulder. All right, what was it? Uh, ice? Yeah, ice. All right, so as you shoot the round, uh, they obviously see where you are, but you pop up again, releasing the, the round from the chamber, and as it hits in the air, you see it kind of turn into a ball of hail, ice, and it just starts flying at this one individual, and you must have been aiming straight at him because he had like this red cross on his helmet, and it was like a great target, and it hits, and then he just ices into this solid block, and that's when you realize he's got this satchel with a big red cross painted on it as well, inside the ice. Mm. Mm. Sounds like medic gaming if I know that. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, but that allows them an immediate retaliation against you. Um, I will let you roll to try and evade because you did have partial success, but they're they're locked on to you at this point. So okay. they're going to open fire. Oh, thanks for doing to him what they've been doing to us. <laughs> thirteen altogether. Lucky thirteen. All right. So there's two individuals that are taking shots at you right now. That's going to be a total of six damage coming your way. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do the other one. Very glad. And basically, like, one of them has a rifle, one of them has a shotgun, so it's like... And then as soon as this... Hits, and it, like, hits into your body armor, causes, like, a weird rush in your head, and you almost hear, like, a faint voice... In the back of your skull. You need to leave. If you want the power that is promised to you, you must leave this place. I look at the big guy. Mm -hmm. So uh, how bulletproof are you? Oh... Well, so I've got this heavy artillery that I can do, but I can also make them, like, uh, bounce bullets off my mind. Why haven't you been doing that? I have. Why do you think he only got shot when he did? He would have lost his entire head if it wasn't for me. It's okay, right. Zappa, I got you. Alright, so, you see the guy... That's frozen right now. You hear a voice in your head. Yes, we see him. I will direct him. And you see the female just staring at you with like the perma uh, RBF. Go get the med kit. Her lips don't move. She just continues to purse her lips at you. So you want us to do all this for you? Fine. For me? No. For you. Well, we didn't have to be here. We're here for you. Well, you're the ones that got shot. So did you. Not after you. so hot. <laughs> All right, fine. Let me show you how it's done. And show you me. see her look at Milo, and she just kind of like puts two fingers against her temple. Milo goes, oh, here we go. All right, Ugh, nothing stops Milo. And he puts both hands on the ground in front of him and then just pulls forward and launches into a full sprint as he's running towards the guy with the ice covering him. All the rounds are just... And you can see him kind of like bouncing as, as he sees them coming. He's waving his hands and you can see them bouncing off of him as he continues to truck through the area. And then he just goes... And what's the daisy? He grabs a hold of the ice sculpture, launches into the air, and then body slams it on the ground. And it shatters. Whoosh. 
You did say go get him, right? Yes. He's gone. He has the med kit. Oh. Well, Milo, sorry to cause a distraction. This um, skull face fellow is going to come and try to grab a med kit. <sighs> Hopefully, there's one. Sixteen. Total? Yes. All right, so as you run towards the broken medical officer, uh, Milo is trying to cause as much distraction as possible, but he takes a scatter shot right to the face, just like, <laughs> and even though most of his power causes it to not do severe damage, mm -hmm. seems to cause him a lot of concussive force, and he starts falling backwards as he actually lands right on top of the med kit. You see it, and he lands on top of it, and he's unconscious. And surrounded, again, by about seven remaining soldiers. The rest went off to try and find reinforcements. I'm going to try and reach under him to grab the med kit. Sure. Are you doing it? Are you using some strength to try and force your hand in there? Or? Well, I don't have much strength, but why not? This is adrenaline moment. <laughs> and let's see here. Oh, I do have to seek. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a roll disadvantage, I was going to cry. All right, so it'd be 23. You managed to grab the med kit. So now your choice is to take this back to Zapper. Um, you can try to drag Milo if you want to. Uh, that's not my ethics. Okay. I'm going to head straight back. All right, so just go ahead and give me a roll for dexterity for avoiding any gunfire while you're getting back to Zapper. 20. 1. All right, so you're going to manage to make it to Zapper. Most of their attention seems to be on locking up Milo. They are strapping him to up and like chaining him behind his back and putting a blindfold over his face. As you get back to Milo and uh, Scylla, and you apply the adrenaline shot straight into to Zapper's chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, hello! How are you doing today? Who would like to fly a chopper? I'd like to fly a chopper. I'm feeling good. How are you feeling? Let's go. The woman looks at you. You forgot someone. Oops. We will have words. Spoken or not. Get into the chopper and Zapper just... Quick run through. And he's like flying the chopper off into the distance as that you still hear like a ping pong ping ping like the bullets ricocheting off the outer armor of the chopper. I hope you liked this week's episode of Project Paradox. If you did, make sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out all of our other content. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, this is Laura Hibbert with Saturday Night Gaming, signing off.